Good morning. Welcome to your Caribbean Vest Headline News. I'm Edwina Delamore. Here are your headlines for today. U.S. Commerce Deputy Secretary to travel to Puerto Rico. Data Protection Breach Investigation. Regional Water Action Agenda approved for the regions. From February 6th to the 10th, the U.S. Department Secretary of Commerce, Don Graves, will travel to San Juan, Puerto Rico to announce funding for Puerto Rico and address the importance of responding to the economic census, the official five-year measure of American business and the economy. Graves said he looks forward to announcing funding initiatives and providing access to capital to small and medium enterprises, which is critical towards job creation and economic growth. On February 8th, Graves will participate in a roundtable discussion at the Puerto Rico Manufacturers Association to discuss how the government can help with capital, labor, and workforce training to aid better access to funding made available for Puerto Rico's recovery and renewal. To read more on this article, go to commerce.gov. The Cayman Islands Office of the Ombudsman completed an investigation into a personal data breach involving a former employee of a local telecommunications company. The ex-employee allegedly shared customers' personal information with a police officer who used the information for personal use. The breach was reported on the 20th of November 2020 under Section 16 of the Data Protection Act. Further investigation led to criminal charges against both parties under Section 54 of the Act. It is important for all public and private sector employees to be aware that the access to and the processing of an individual's personal data must be done fairly and lawfully and only for the purposes for which the data was provided, said Sharon Rollstone, Ombudsman. To read more on this article, go to kamiantimes.com. KY. Representatives of Latin America and Caribbean countries have approved Regional Water Action Agenda, which identifies areas needed to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. It is the outcome of the Regional Water Dialogue for 2023, organized by the Economic Commission for Latin America and Caribbean countries, along with 10 multilateral organizations, institutions, including the Government of the Netherlands. ALAC Executive Secretary Jose Manuel Salazar Sirinach stressed that the need to invest in integrated water resource management to curb water-related disasters, especially in the Caribbean small island development states, and the importance of financial resources in these regions. To read more on this article written by CMC News, go to CaribbeanNationalWeekly.com. You can now follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. This was your Carib Invest Headline News to start your day.